The Canadian Rapid Event Attribution System determines how the frequency of extreme weather has shifted over the last 150 years because of human activity. This is done by using climate model data to calculate how the chance of occurrence of an extreme event in today's climate with the influence of human activity compares to the chances of this event happening in the pre-industrial climate before human caused climate change. This is illustrated in the diagram on the right for hot extremes. The current climate represented by the red curve is shifted towards warmer temperature than the pre-industrial climate, the blue curve. Therefore, an event of a certain magnitude would happen more often in the current climate than in the pre-industrial climate. So the shaded area under the red curve is larger than the shaded area under the blue curve. So once we calculate the change in the likelihood of the event occurring between the current climate and the pre-industrial climate, we express this result as a likelihood statement. For example, if an event is two to 10 times more likely to occur because of human-caused climate change, we say that the event is much more likely to occur. The warm colors on the dial correspond to events whose chance of happening increases due to human-caused climate change, such as heat waves or extreme precipitation events. On the other hand, the cold colors correspond to events that are less likely to occur due to human activity, such as cold snaps. Expressing the information the system provides in terms of simple statements gives Canadians direct insight into how climate change is affecting our lives and weather today. So, as an example of how the system works, we present a heavy rainfall episode caused, caused by the passage of Hurricane Melissa over Eastern Canada. You can see here maps of daily precipitation over Eastern Canada for October 31st and November 1st. The system compares the average amount of daily precipitation over each region depicted in the maps below to the climatological value of extreme daily precipitation over that region. If the climatological value is surpassed, an event is detected and the attribution study is performed. If the climatological value is not surpassed, we do not have an extreme event. For the Hurricane Melissa rainfall, the threshold was surpassed over three regions, resulting in extreme precipitation events being detected on October 31st and November 1st over south-central Quebec, Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean, and eastern Labrador, Happy Valley, Goose Bay. The attribution analysis of these three events show that the events in Quebec were more likely, were more likely to occur due to human-caused climate change, while the Labrador event was much more likely to occur. So the pilot precipitation system has now been running and providing attribution results since June 2025. We have compiled the total of 42 events over various regions within Canada, as you can see on the map here. From these events, three were much more likely to occur, while the rest 39 were more likely to occur because of human-caused climate change. We will continue to monitor extreme weather events using this system. This area of research supports important decision-making that helps Canadian communities prepare for and adapt for the change in frequency and severity of the extreme weather events.